Hi guys we are back with another video. iPhone screens are known for their sharp and vibrant colors. However, it can become an issue if this screen suddenly switches to grayscale. But why is your iPhone screen black and white? And is there any way to fix this issue? Let's find out. If grayscale is on, it can explain why your iPhone screen is black and white. However, if this setting is off, the issue might arise if the zoom filters are set to grayscale, low battery, or simply a software bug. Let us look at 7 ways to help you fix this issue on your iOS device. If your iPhone screen has turned black and white, the first thing to do is to check the accessibility settings for grayscale. It is a feature for people with color blindness and other visual impairment. And if it is turned on, disable it to remove the iPhone from black and white mode. Follow the steps to do it. Open the settings menu. Then, tap on accessibility. Here, tap on display and text size. Tap on color filters. Turn off the toggle for color filters. Now, check if your iPhone screen has returned to normal. If not, move on to the next fix. The zoom settings on your iPhone help you zoom in on specific objects, magnify the screen, and much more. However, if the zoom filter is set to grayscale, it might turn your iPhone screen black and white whenever it is enabled. To ensure this is not the case, you can disable grayscale from zoom settings on your iPhone. Here's how. Open settings and tap on accessibility. Here, tap on zoom. Now, scroll down and tap on zoom filter. From the options, tap on none. This will turn off the grayscale mode, black and white mode, from the zoom filter settings and allow you to use the zoom function without your device's screen turning black and white. If your device currently has low battery levels, it might automatically switch to the grayscale setting to extend battery life. To ensure this is not the case, check the battery percentage visible in the top right corner of your device's screen. If the battery percentage is not visible, follow the steps to enable it. Open settings and tap on battery. Here, ensure the toggle for battery percentage is turned on. Additionally, you can also turn off the toggle for low power mode to turn it off manually. Now, check the battery percentage. If it is low, Charge your device and see if this changes your iPhone's screen color back to normal. Restarting your device usually resolves any temporary issues or glitches that might have occurred while turning any service or feature on or off. This can also hold if you've already turned off grayscale, but your device's screen is still black and white. And after restarting your device check if your iPhone screen has turned back to normal. If your iPhone screen has turned black and white because of a bug or glitch in your device's software, it can be fixed by installing the latest updates. This is because most iOS updates help fix the necessary bug and security glitches. And while software updates are automatic, you can manually check for them as well. Follow the shown steps to do it. Open the settings menu. Scroll down and tap on general. Here, tap on software update. If an update is indeed available, download and install it. Then, once your device restarts, check if the screen colors are back to normal. As a last resort for fixing the issue of your iPhone's black and white screen, you can use the Reset All Settings option. This will allow you to reset any and every iPhone setting to default and might fix the issue if results from any such errant setting. However, all your saved passwords and custom settings will be erased. Open Settings and tap on General. Scroll down and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap on Reset. Once the options appear, tap on Reset All Settings. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish resetting your device's settings. Once done, check to see if your iPhone's screen is working as expected. If you've tried of doing all troubleshooting steps shown in video and you are still unable to get your iPhone's screen back to normal, the chances are that it is a hardware issue. So, we suggest contacting Apple's support team. Make sure to provide as many details as possible and wait for Apple's support executives to get back with the relevant solutions. I hope this video helped you understand why your iPhone screen is black and white and fix the issue accordingly. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified for future videos.